When people first meet you in St. Louis, they're always like, what school did you go to? Well, if you must know, I went to Barber C. Jordan, I went to Graniman, I went to Twillman, I went to Hazelwood East, I went to Ace, I went to Hazelwood West. Basically, I'm very well-rounded over here. street team welcome back to denny tv where we bring what's going on in these streets to your tv so today is 314 day um happy 314 day for my st louis people if y'all don't know i'm from st louis and 314 day is like really a huge deal like we love our city so in honor of 314 day i decided to do um the st louis accent challenge slash tag and I figured this would be like something totally different from my content and something fun to do. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have some fun. Um, as I've like been out traveling and since I moved to Georgia, when I speak, a lot of people are like noticing my accent and they're always like, say there, say her, like all of that. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all, like I really do have an accent. So I thought this challenge would be fun. So um, if you're new here, welcome make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe because y'all know we are about to go up so let's get into this video i was like pretty extra so i have like my notes here i have the questions i have slang i did food um i have celebrities from st louis i have a 314 day playlist like i was extra i went all out for this so y'all better like comment and subscribe let's just jump right into the video um i have the words on my phone because i screenshotted them because i didn't feel like typing all that out i was being a little lazy but let's get into the words so the words are i um i know some people say auntie or tt roof route wash some people be like wash <laughs> oil theater iron is iron 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 it's the st louis in me that wants to say iron um salmon or some people say salmon it's salmon okay um caramel far fire far see the st louis in me is saying far but it's fire um water sure data ruin crayon new orleans pecan pecan or pecan pecan no it's not pecan it's pecan <laughs> See, it's the, it's the accent. It's the St. Louis in me saying these words like this. Both, again, probably spitting image or splitting image. You have a splitting image of someone. Spitting image. Avenue, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas. Some people be like pajamas. But it's pajamas, not pajamas. <laughs> Call naturally, naturally aluminum envelope okay so i think i did pretty good on that part i know some of the words the st louis in me came out a little bit but i think i did pretty good on that now let's move on to the questions so for the questions i have what is it called when you throw toilet paper on the house it's when you tp a house um what is it what is the bug called that curls in a ball when you touch it roly-poly what is the bubbly carbonated drink soda so i know a lot of people say like pop but i think they say pop in chicago um don't butcher me no i know y'all like to tussle a little bit don't butcher me if y'all don't say pop in chicago i think y'all do i'm not really sure but in st louis we call it soda um what do you call gym shoes i say sneakers but you can say like tennis shoes you can say kicks but for the most part i say sneakers what do you say to address a group of people? Um, that one really depends on who the group of people, you know, is. So if it's like older people, I want to be respectful. So I would say, you know, hello, how are you? Hi, how you doing? If it's like, you know, peers, I'd be like, hey. Um, if it's like my friends, I'd be like, you know, hey girl, what's up? You know, stuff like that more like, you know, cool vibes what do you call the spider with really long legs and an oval body um daddy long legs spider daddy long legs uh, i don't know what do you call your grandparents um i call my grandparents granny and papa i know some people say like nana um my other grandma i called her grandma 
I know some people say grandma and grandpa. Um, some people be like your nanny, me ma. You know, it really just depends. Um, I know now, like in the new age, grandparents are called like, you know, grandmas are called like grandma. So, you know, it really just depends on your preference, I would say. What do you call the wheel contraption that you put your groceries in at the grocery store? That is a cart or a buggy. Not up for debate. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? Now, this one is funny because I can say like three different things. The first one is going to be the correct way. Remote control, but then we got remote control and then I'll say like remote. But you know, older people would be like, bring me that remote control, you know? Like, yeah. My daddy be like, remote control. Sir, it's remote or remote control. So I think I flew through the questions to now. Let's get into slang. So St. Louis slang kind of goes like this, drove. That means you played yourself. Like in Lil Baby song, when he be like, you played, like you played yourself. You kind of embarrass yourself a little bit. Um, hella. That means a lot. Like someone would come up to me and be like, girl, you hella cute. And I'd be like, okay. They'd be like, your heart hella mom. I'm like, thanks, girl. You know, um, mug. Mug is a thing. So that's like an object. So I would say, like, that mug far. Like, I don't know. Like, the thing that I'm talking about at the moment, mug. Scan. Scan means like you're wrong. Like I would say you hella scan for stealing. Like you hella scan for um, lying about that situation. You know, like scan is something that you do when you're like in the wrong. Like you're scandalous. Um, tripping. What money bag y'all say or what your boo say when you're doing too much? Like you tripping when you catch your boo cheating on you. He gonna be like you tripping. I ain't cheating. But he probably really is cheating on you. But he gonna tell you that you tripping. Y'all watch out. Fire. So I say this word literally in every video and that means like something is good. Like I would say that food is fire. And y'all probably heard me say this like a thousand times in my video and I'll be like that is fire. Like the object is good. It's amazing. John. This pretty much means you're about to get flamed. Like if somebody be like I'm about to John on you, they about to clown you. You know when you used to go to school and you would have your little fresh feed and you would go up to the pencil sharpener so everybody can see you and then somebody will hate on you and then start joning on you like yeah they're about to heat you because they jelly so it's like a joning matter like they're about to talk about you make fun of you I should say slide that means simply when you're about to pull up on somebody like hey I'm about to go over my friend house I'm about to slide on my friend uh, finna now I say finna all the time this is literally a everyday word for me like this is in my vocabulary and this means that you're going to do something like i'm about to go to the store i'm finna go to the store like that's what that means so next we're going to get into food y'all know that i am a foodie okay like if it's one thing that y'all don't know about me y'all know that i'm a foodie so i have some st louis restaurants that i like and that is significant to the city so of course y'all know that we have emos that's home of the thin style pizza but i'm not sure if y'all heard about cecil whitaker's because cecil whitaker's is really good in my opinion cecil whitaker's is kind of better than emos you know don't tussle with me st louis folks but cecil whitaker's is a little better than emos and I like Cecil Whitaker's because they're affordable. Emo's is like bad and bougie. They a little high, but Cecil Whitaker's has some really good deals, y'all. So that, like, if you go to St. Louis, you should definitely try one of those places for pizza. Um, we also have a place called like Angelo's, and Angelo's is pretty good too. But out of the three, Cecil Whitaker's has my heart. Next up, we have home of the best chinaman it's not chinese food it's called chinaman i don't know why we say chinaman how we address the chinese food in st louis and it's not up for debate don't tussle with me we have the best literally chinese food in the whole country if your rice is orange have a seat like don't come for us um we have like these things called St. Paul sandwiches and they're so good. They come on like white bread. You can get like pork, chicken, shrimp. You pick your meat, it come with mayonnaise, it has pickle, you know, onion, whatever. But they are really 
good like they fire especially when they're hot and they're fresh like they're really really good it's really bothering me that i keep like moving my hands i need to like stop talking with my hands but yeah next on the list is white castles hands down when y'all go to white castles you need to get a double cheeseburger bottom buns don't get it the regular way get the get it the bottom buns listen to denny tv you want it with the bottom buns um you want to get a mozzarella stick they have the best mozzarella sticks you want a cheese fry as far as the drink if you want to be simple you can get like an orange high c but if not, if you're trying to be like bad and bougie, get you a little strawberry lemonade smoothie. And when I tell you that it's fire, especially when it's fresh, like if it's not fresh, it's not going to be that good. But when it's fresh, it's definitely going to be good. Y'all need to go to the one either on Hall's Ferry, um, Gin and Station Road, or Limburg. Those are the best White Castles. Or even if you're like in the Columbia area, the one out there by Mizzou, fire, like white castle when you get it on a fresh day with them bottom buns it is really really good but if you're not a burger person i would say get the chicken ring with cheese and then don't forget the dipping sauces we need marinara sauce and honey mustard because it's everything and me just talking about it right now makes me want to go get um some white castles they actually sell like the little fake white castles out here in the store but i can't i can't do it i can't i can't go like that Next, we have um, Red Hot Riblets. So those are significant to St. Louis. They're like some spicy barbecue chips that are hot. They're really good, and they're so significant to St. Louis. The St. Lunatics, y'all, made a whole song about it. Like, if y'all don't believe me, go search it on YouTube. I think it's called Red Hot Riblets by the St. Lunatics, or maybe it's like Murphy Lee. And it's a whole song about the chips, y'all. Like, <laughs> we so extra in St. Louis. Um... Another place that people go to is Ted Drew's. That's an ice cream place. I've had it before. It's cool. But I know like a lot of people go there and like make a big deal out of um, Ted Drew's. Sweetie Pies was a big deal. My mom used to stay going to Sweetie Pies, y'all. Sweetie Pies was definitely um, a big deal. Best Soda. They got that every flavor that you can imagine. Mystics. Um, you can get those from the Chinaman or your little hole in the wall or like a New York grill, uh, Miami grill, pop, something like that. We started gooey butter cake. We put gooey butter cake on the map. So thank us y'all. And I know it like Snooks. They have the best gooey butter cake, cake pops y'all. They are so freaking good. Like I gotta go home soon because talking about all this food and stuff is making me a little homesick. Happy Smokehouse. That's like a barbecue place that people go to. I added a few places on the list that I like and that I loved when I lived in St. Louis, Jerk Soul. When I say, it's a Jamaican place, y'all. When I say that food is far, it's on the south side. That Jamaican food, the Rasta pasta, whoop, it's something. It just, it just do something to me. El Magwe, that's like a Mexican place. Um, you go there, you're going to be real, real neat. Um, from the food to the drinks. We got El Magwe's pretty much on every corner. And then Prom 55. Prom 55 is a black owned restaurant. It's in the Delmore Loop. It's in U City. And I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into like the areas in a little bit. Because the people that, that's from U City, they let you know that they're from U City with no problem. Okay, like I'm from U City, but I don't really like claim it like that. But the people like my sister, she's from U City. When I say she'll find any way to tell somebody that she's from U City, like girl. We're going to get into that in a little minute. Next on my list, because I'm extra, we're talking about celebrities from St. Louis. So first and foremost, Danny TV, because y'all know I'm a celebrity, baby. I'm a journalist. That's number one. Of course, Nelly. If you don't know Nelly, I'm sorry. Get on Google and look it up. Like, who doesn't know who Nelly is? Country Grammar, Air Force Ones, Chingy, right there. That's who started that right there. So, yeah, Chingy um andy he's from the housewives of like atlanta he's like a producer executive producer to be exact and he does like their reunions the host for their reunions he's actually from st louis and then tina turner is from st louis and i want to say cedric the entertainer as well don't quote me on cedric but i think he is um how can i forget this 
BMF. So the BMF Black Family Mafia organization was in St. Louis as well. And I can't wait till the show starts back up because I can't wait till they cover when they was like in St. Louis. Like everybody messes with St. Louis. We literally are good in every hood in every state. And then lastly, like every rapper has a baby mama from St. Louis. Like, I don't know why, but they do like, everybody loves St. Louis. So let's see her, my little 314 day playlist. Um, if you know, you know, I have down, she got a man at home that's by Pretty Willie. Um, my life is like a whirlwind. Of course we have country grammar, Nelly. Um, shoot, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Let me see. St. Louis, Nilly, like those songs um, describe St. Louis. Um, Midwest Swing, I think that's like the St. Lunatics and Nilly. We have Do Your Own Dance. Now, Do Your Own Dance, that is my song. Like, if they come on in the club, I'm sorry. I cannot dance to save my own life, but I'm like, like, yeah, that's my song. Um, what else do I have on my list? Nina Pop. Right Third, Chingy, um, Wop Wop Wild is by Shorty the Kid. I love this song. That's like a St. Louis classic. And then we have Mob Out. Now, if you in the club and then you hear and people start moving their feet really fast, I suggest you get off the dance floor because they're about to clown to Mob It Out because that's just like a significant song in St. Louis. Like... Y'all know in the comments, if y'all from St. Louis, like when Mob Out come on, they about to go crazy. So that's what I have for my little St. Louis um, music hit. The last thing that I'm going to touch on about St. Louis is that us St. Louis people, I don't know why we do this, but like when we first meet somebody, we be like, oh, you know, what high school did you go to? And then they'll be like, okay, I went to Hazelwood East. And then you like, mm. You thinking in your head like what area they lived in and what kind of school that was and what kind of reputation the school was. So then you're thinking like, okay, that's how this person is. I don't know why we do that. It's crazy, but like that's how we see who we dealing with and who we in front of and grasp who a person is when we ask them like, what school did you go to? So for me, um, I'm from U City, but I don't claim U City like that. I was born in U City. Um, we used to live off Page. I went to Barbara C. Jordan Elementary School. And then after that, I moved to Hazelwood. So then I went to Hazelwood East. That was a little rah-rah up there. And then I went to Hazelwood West, which was completely different. Um, my parents, I would say my parents are from the city. My sister, that's U City all day. If she on this video, she gonna comment talking about U City. Like, girl, we don't wanna hear about that today. but. My sister, I would say she's from U City. Uh, my brother, I would say he's from Hazelwood. And then I have cousins that are from Pagedale. So, like, my family, we really well-rounded. You know, we from each and every area. Like, we really well-rounded. So, yeah, this concludes my St. Louis accent, my St. Louis slang, my little spiel about my city. Because, baby, you know, I'm so St. Louis, like... I'm a Georgia peach right now, but I'm a St. Louis girl always. St. Louis brought the hustle out of me, you know? If you did like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stayed this long and listened to my whole video, baby, you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But this was like so fun and I love my city and I'm very proud to be from my city. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little St. Louis accent slash slang challenge and happy 314 day to my people.